Hello everyone, and welcome to what episode 11 of Full Grown Gaming's Super Mario 64 Let's Play. And it's been a long weekend, but I think we're finally time. It's finally time to start uh, a new, I guess you could say, with week three. I think this is. And I'm trying to get a star from this toad right here, but I can't talk to him. And I there we go. I don't know if you noticed, but I uh, I dropped the high res thing for now, just because I haven't fully. And the comments have told me that it would be better if I had the um, what are they called? The HUD or the you know, where the stars and the coins and the lives are. So until I get that fixed, I'm going to drop that, and I, I'll try to have it fixed uh, sometime. But uh, for this episode, I just wanted to get that really easy star. And then I wanted to go and get the uh, caps that I've missed. The uh, Metal Mario cap thingy and the uh, Invis transparent thingy. I don't really know what to call it. I forgot what they call it in the game. It's not really invisible, really. It's just... Because you can walk through stuff. If you're invisible, that doesn't mean you can walk through stuff. But I'm digressing. Uh, first, we're going to get Metal Mario's cap. Or Mario's metal cap. Or however you want to put that. And to do that, you just got to run to uh, Hazy Maze Cave. And jump in there. Like so. And run to the uh, Beast's Cavern. And I'm not going to get these stars for a while. Just because I don't really like this level that much. But uh, you got to run to the Beast's Cavern. And there's a uh, door that takes you to that stage. Oh, okay, I can... Oh, that was close. Alright. There we go, okay. Oh, oh! Okay, that's good, that's fine. Uh, I want to talk about some stuff. Not necessarily Mario related. Um, first of all, I saw a Next Gen Tactics. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's a basically a video game conglomerate channel on YouTube. That actually, they s try to do a bunch of different games. But they end up only doing Call of Duty. But that's besides the point. They do a lot of video game news. And recently, actually just like yesterday or a couple days ago, they talked about a story in the news or something. And we've all, forever, we've known that video games have been like a, a, a scapegoat for violence, I guess you could say. And apparently there's a senator that wants to put warning labels on video games for several things, it sounds like. To me, from the article, it sounded like they want to put health warnings on video games for stuff like obesity and, like, I don't really know how to phrase this, kind of like mind-altering effects, like, I don't even know why, I don't even, that's so stupid, I don't know how to phrase it. Like I said in uh, one of my other videos, I, even before I heard about the article, I thought the idea that, um, Wait, do I need to hit that button, by the way? Let me see what this does. No, I can't even hit that yet. Um, I thought the idea that uh, video games affecting the mind was ludicrous. And it really, to me, it really, really is. Um, there might be a correlation between video games and violence in young people. But there's not, the difference, there's a difference between causation and correlation. Correlation is like... Causation is when one thing directly causes another. Now, correlation is when two things are kind of related, but they don't necessarily... One doesn't cause the other. I think that's the case here. I think they've done studies, and they've seen a correlation between the two. But I don't think video games are the cause of violence, or whatever they're trying to say it's the cause of. Uh, go ahead and leave your comments. I'm kind of interested in seeing what you guys think about that. Uh, I might might go ahead and get these coins. Uh, let's see how I feel about that. Hit that real quick. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like pulled it down. But uh, I wish I was a bigger channel, just a little bit, so I could see, get more people's opinions on uh, this. Uh, uh, what would be a good word? This uh, topic, I guess. Um, I'm kind of. I want to know what people think about it. How, do people think how I do, or am I just totally off base here? Um, but we'll leave that for now. And let's move on to my uh, ace in the hole. I finally got Dead Space 2. And the only bad thing I have to say about Dead Space 2 is that it lasts about seven hours. I did, uh, and I explored the crap out of that game. I, I read everything on the walls. I went almost in every room I could think of. And it only took me about seven hours. I guarantee if I were to only just run straight through the game, it would have only taken me three or four hours. And that's really the only complaint I have. Otherwise, the story is absolutely amazing. The uh, combat is awesome. And even the online is a nice surprise. Except, if you play as a necromorph, you're pretty much going to get 
uh, destroyed. When I was a human, I went insanely positive every game, like 30 and 1. Uh, oh, and by the way, you just gotta hit these two pillars down to lower the water level in the moat so you can get to the uh, other cap. But, uh, yeah, being a necromorph blows. You, you're pretty much gonna get dominated unless you just get in a, a lobby with a bunch of bad people or you really, really know what you're doing. I only had one game where I did really good with the necromorph, and that was uh, pretty lucky. So, in this stage, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get the, uh, what's it called, the red coin star. And you just gotta kinda feel your way down here and look before you leap, I guess. The old adage goes. Uh, I don't know what's in here, so I'll go over here and look. Oh, don't slide off. Thank you. I think it's a life, yeah. There's another life right there. I don't feel like sliding, I'm just gonna jump. Uh, come on, there. Now where's the next one? I guess right below me. Below me, by the way, that reminded me. Uh, is a monster in a uh, Super Mario RPG, like that dog thing. I don't think they're all on this uh, slide right here. They better not be. There must be some later. I mean, I haven't played this game, this part of the game, in a long time. So you'll have to forgive me for uh, not remembering. And there was some other stuff I wanted to talk about, but I cannot remember for the life of me. I'll remember it as I uh, play a little more. Oh, here's some coins. And there's no 100 coin stars or, uh, on these stages or anything. So you don't have to worry about that. Yep, I knew there was some up here. So it's six. Now where's seven and eight? It's gotta be over here somewhere. Um, yep. Okay. Oh no! Oh, that was close. Okay, seven. And... Where's eight? Where's eight? I'll get up there and look around. Uh, come on. Oh my, that was like matrix material right there, man. That's crazy. I just like walked over the side of that. So while uh, there's a star, but how do you get in there? It's blocked. Oh, speaking of, this reminds me of my uh, Coke machines at school. I'll tell you that story in a second. Let me uh, punch that down. Yes, I'll save. And you gotta hit this again and turn invisible to get in there, or not invisible, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and hit that. Anyway, in my school, I'll just tell you about the whole backstory. There is a kid that me and uh, Joe know, or not, we don't really know him, but we see him at lunch. And uh, we call him the Coke Machine Monster because he'll hide behind. I don't think I've told you guys this story. It seems like I have. If I haven't, I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. But there's a guy we call the Coke Machine Monster, and he hides behind Coke machines. And one time we saw him try to get in between two Coke machines and, like, make a little house, I guess you could say. And one, the day we saw him do that, the next day, the Tropicana, I don't, there was a Tropicana kind of, you know, machine, whatever. And it was gone the next day, so we joked that he ate it. Uh, I don't know why, uh, let's go over here, by the way, as I'm finishing the story, and get the last coin, or last star in here. But, uh, we were wondering where it went, and, like, today, for the first time, it was back, except it was behind a bunch of metal bars. I, why, I cannot, I just, that just, that's really weird. I mean, that just shows how ghetto our school is, which is weird. I don't know why, and, there's a school, a new school in our county, that was just built, that is absolutely huge, and it has the most... They lend out iPhones, or, uh, iPads. I gotta remember where the, uh, thing is, by the way. The box. But they lend out iPads in the library. They have, like, a three-story school. And they try to tell us that the, uh, budget for the schools isn't the same. I mean, is the same for every school. Well, that's total bullcrap. It's obviously not. Um, but we, somehow our school got stuck with the IB program. I wish the IB program had been at that school, because that would have been awesome. Uh, getting off track here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this. It's pretty easy, just gotta come in here. And one of the comments told me before, um, on the other video while I was here, that you can actually get this coin, or the star, why do I keep doing that? I keep mixing up coins and stars. But you can get this star without actually having this, uh, cap. There we go. I've never done that, but I think I've seen it happen before. You just gotta get lucky, I guess. So, uh, I think I'm going to end the episode right there. Uh, it's kind of a short episode. I just wanted to give you a uh, little... I know I haven't uploaded an episode in a couple of days. But, um, yep, that's episode 11. And I just also wanted to say I finally got Joe to figure out... Or I taught him, I guess you could say, how to record 
audio and video. So now, we are very close to getting him his own Let's Play. Now, I want you guys to give him as much support as you've given me, and I have this feeling that he's going to be even more popular for whatever reason. This isn't a contest, but uh, see where that goes. Uh, thank you for watching episode 11. In the next episode, we'll probably... I think we'll mop up downstairs yet again. And then the next episode after that, go upstairs. Um, just because I want Joe to be here when I go in wet, dry world. Uh, so once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you will tune in next time for episode 12.